Humans might think that they're at the top of the food chain, but they will be quickly humbled if they have a bad encounter with some of these animals. Snakes and scorpions have been around much longer than us, and some contain enough venom to bring an end to dozens of people with just one bite. Some fish out there carry potent neurotoxins that can shut down your nervous system in only a few minutes. From rare species of mammals that can cause severe pain with their toxin, to a snail that can release a toxin a thousand times more potent than morphine, here, Here are, are the most, most toxic, toxic animals, animals on Earth. Earth. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye. Keep an eye on everything you want to know. The Carpet Viper Saw-scaled vipers get their name from the shape of their scales, which appear to be serrated under a microscope. They inhabit various parts of the world, including India, Africa, the Middle East, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. While this snake only measures in at about 80 centimeters or so, their venom can affect your body in a big way. It consists of four different types of toxins, including neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, hemotoxins, and cytotoxins. These can all certainly make you have a bad day in all kinds of ways. It turns out that female vipers of this species are twice as toxic as the males. Venom potency varies, but it appears as though that these snakes could be responsible for the most snake-related fatalities than any other snake. The Pufferfish Although it is considered a delicacy, a potent neurotoxin is released from the fish's skin, liver, gonads, and intestines. Chefs in Japan require a special permit to prepare this deadly critter, but of course, accidents still happen. The pufferfish releases a neurotoxin known as tachototoxin when it feels like it's scared when predators are nearby. Exposure will lead to paralysis, block all the nerve impulses, and eventually expiration by asphyxiation. In 2015, five men in Japan were poisoned after they apparently asked to eat the pufferfish's liver. The men were hoping just to eat a very small amount of it in order to feel the numbing sensation that comes along with this type of sushi. It proved to be a very slippery slope. The chef should have known better, which ultimately made it one big cooking fail. Poison Dart Frogs Be careful if you decide to do some tree climbing in the Amazon, because you might run into some of the most toxic animals in the world. A horrific lethal substance found in nature this one comes straight from the poisonous frog found in the Amazon River. This lethal cocktail of deadly toxins, known as bachototoxin, is a poison used in poison darts, and it can kill a target within a matter of seconds. The strange part about how this toxin is found is that the frog doesn't produce this chemical itself. It comes from part of their diet of poisonous beetles. You are what you eat, I guess. The poison paralyzes the muscles, leaving the victim immobile but still alive. Eventually, the poison moves to the heart and triggers a heart attack. The Pus Caterpillar This mysterious little creature gets its name for its cat-like fur, but don't be mistaken. It's definitely something you don't want to pet. It might look like a little furry toupee, but it's not. Its fur is actually completely covered in venom. They're found in rainforests, but can also make their way into the swamp and even into our own home soil in Florida. Those who've had the unfortunate encounter with a pus caterpillar describe the experience to be unpleasant to say the least, hurting more than stings from bees, jellyfish, and even scorpions. The stings result in swelling and it suggested the contact poison control. They take a wide variety of colors and some are quite more frightening than the others. The Platypus In case you were wondering if there are any toxic mammals out there, the answer is yes. So if you take a look at the platypus, you have to ask yourself, what on earth could it possibly be hiding? It turns out that the platypus is one of very few mammals that actually produce venom. Vampire bats do as well, but possibly less painful when they bite you. That's right. The platypus, a cully looking creature, has a pair of spurs on their hind limbs, more vicious than you'd expect. It's with this spur that they can inject anything that even dares touch it. It's a defense mechanism the males use during mating season. Some first-hand recipients of a platypus sting describe the pain as being worse than getting struck with shrapnel. Scorpion. Scorpion Similar to spiders, these invertebrates have eight legs and are easily spotted with their big claws and segmented tail. These arachnids have adapted to live on every continent except Antarctica and don't seem to be in any danger of going extinct anytime soon. In the US, scorpions are most commonly found in the southwestern states. Scorpion stings can be extremely painful, but are relatively harmless to humans. Most scorpions with lethal venom are not located in the United States, thankfully. When exposed to certain wavelengths, some scorpions produce a vibrant green light that's actually quite incredible like you see in this photo. 
There are many types of scorpions out there, but one of the more notable species is Israeli Deathstalker scorpion, and it has extremely powerful venom. Some scientists feel as though their venom can prove to be useful to humans as well, but only in small doses. Hopefully they won't develop into rad scorpions after they've been exposed to high levels of radiation once the apocalypse has arrived. The Inland Taipan Considered to be one of the most venomous snakes, this reptile doesn't live in Taiwan or Thailand, it's actually from Australia. If you head into the vast Australian outback in certain shade areas, you might have a horrifying encounter with an inland taipan. Based on some studies done, it shows that the median lethal dose was actually much stronger than the sea snake and that the inland taipan was also the most toxic reptile out there. It appeared as though its venom was specifically adapted to affect warm-blooded mammals the most effectively. It luckily doesn't come into contact with people too often and therefore is considered the most dangerous snake out there. But just one bite can produce enough venom to be lethal to a hundred different fully grown men. It's crazy how an animal can have so much of a toxic substance inside them and still not damage itself. If you do end up getting bit, you must get the anti-venom within 30 minutes and even then you could still be left with permanent muscle and organ damage, so watch out. The Brown Recluse Spider these are certainly one of the more deadly spiders out there in the United States. Since it has a venom that basically destroys your blood vessels, they're certainly lethal to the elderly and the children under the age of 12. Even if it doesn't kill you, a bite from a brown recluse spider will take several months to heal. They're known to cause necrosis, especially to your skin. The bite marks certainly have the potential to leave severe destruction and lesions that are wide and deep. If you think you may have been bitten by one of these creatures of the devil, be sure you get medical attention as soon as possible and wash the bite firmly with soap and water. The Blue Ringed Octopus Even though it might look pretty cool and it's not quite as intimidating as the others, the Blue Ringed Octopus is not something you want to mess with. This deep sea creature is extremely venomous and there's no cure if you get stung. It contains the same deadly poison as the pufferfish known as tetrototoxin. There's no anti-venom for this stuff either, so once you're stung, game over. It can be noticed by its blue and black rings. They can hunt small prey such as crabs, hermit crabs, shrimp, etc. The sharp beak can pierce through hard crab shell. The Cone Snail This is not the kind of escargot you want to get served at a French restaurant. This is probably one of the deadliest sea critters in the ocean with some serious potent venom. It displays various patterns of bright colors in order to warn predators but their venomous harpoons can launch on accident. Not only that, but their harpoons are sharp enough to break your skin. There have only been 27 reported human fatalities caused by the snail venom and you don't want to try to pick their shells up either. They release a toxin a thousand times more powerful than morphine. It's nicknamed the cigarette snail because you only have time for one cigarette after you get stung. That's about it. This photo here shows a live textile cone which is one of the more dangerous types of cone snails to handle. The Boom Sling possibly one of the most terrifying snakes, this thing has venom that will literally cause you to bleed through your pores. They have a unique jaw which will allow for a unique advantage while its jaw is fully open. Some of the symptoms that happen after a boom sling bite can be quite startling. A biologist, Carl P. Schmidt, wrote a diary of what it's like and the whole ordeal sounded terrifying. Symptoms cause nausea, bleeding from the gums, mouth, and in the urine. He suffered from a severe fever and each time it seemed like he was getting better, it would only get worse. Eventually, he was admitted to a hospital when he suddenly was experiencing respiratory failure. That was only from a baby boom sling too. After a while, it appeared as though his study was going wrong fast. Currently, there is an anti-venom for treating bites from the snake, but it must be administered very quickly. The Stonefish Don't let its clever name fool you. It can disguise itself quite well as a rock and if you step on one, it could be the most painful thing in your life. They carry a toxin that causes your tissue to rot off known as necrosis, paralysis, shock and it can be fatal in many cases. You must be treated immediately which isn't easy mainly because it's impossible to swim. The scariest part about all this is that the fact that it looks extremely easy to make a mistake for a rock and also they're buried under the sand most of the time. They're typically found along the Tropic of Capricorn so be sure to watch out if you're in that area. And number 1. Banana Spiders Also known as the Brazilian Wandering Spider, these aggressive arachnids actually raise their front legs in the air and look like they're ready to punch somebody. They're most commonly found on banana leaves and are certainly considered to be one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. The venom is extremely toxic and can have strange effects. If you're a guy and get bit, you could be left with what's known as a priapism. You might have to google that one for your own. 
No wonder it gets its nickname as the Banana Spider. Doctors are currently researching this venom to see if it can somehow cure ED. Other side effects of a banana spider include increased salivation, irregular heartbeat, and so on. A family in the UK purchased a bundle of bananas at the market, and also, after bringing it home, an egg sack of these spiders hatched. And you can guess that it was bad news. Whoa, now that was a cool video! Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time!